Hi, I'm Angelica from the Grazia Beauty team. We're here backstage at Christopher Kane and we're going to go and find out exactly how they've created the hair and makeup looks for their Autumn Winter 13 show. I think the thing people don't realise is that these girls are rushing in between shows. Jordan Dunn only arrived 10 minutes ago and it's all super stressful. They've only got about 10 minutes to have their hair and makeup done, so the atmosphere is very tense. The hair for this show is very easy for me. I wanted to see what um, natural texture was in the hair because it's a very natural look. I've got a great hair dryer, the Fabulous Velour, which is a very fast uh, hair dryer. It's got a Ferrari engine in, believe it or not. And then when it's dry, um, I'm using the Fabulous Curling Iron just to create some movement in the hair if it's dead straight. So it's a very easy look. I'm not using any styling products. As soon as you start adding product, the hair starts taking on a different note. So I'm really keeping it easy so the hair feels clean and very light. And this really is a look that you can wear at home. It's really taken from the street and what real women wear, and it's putting it on the runway. So really showing women that their natural look is something that they can really sort of wear with high fashion clothes. My name is Federico, I work for NAS Cosmetics. The look is pretty much uh, clean, luminous skin, very, you know, see-through skin, very feminine. So we're using a um, brightening serum, which we love. It's great for giving the skin a nice glow. We're using sheer glow foundation, some blush off, just very lightly on the cheekbones. And we're using Copacabana highlighter as well. On the lips, we're actually missing two different shades. This is a nice, uh, new pink and this is more beige. So we're mixing both, you know, depending on the model's skin color. You know, for this look, it's key to have the skin very well moisturized and prepped. So I would say that was the key, that's the key part for this makeup look. To create a nice, beautiful skin, you need to use the right skincare and make sure your skin looks beautiful before you put any makeup on. And to be very light handed with foundation so the skin shows through and doesn't look too made up. So if you want to get the Christopher Kane look, you must always use oil on your nails because the nail could be fabulous but the skin around it needs to be good too. And then put one, two or even three coats of a glossy top coat, perhaps even reapply every two days to keep them looking as glossy and as gorgeous and as shiny as you possibly can. And then use a nail pencil underneath the free edge of the nail which will keep it clean and keep it as white and as healthy and as fresh looking as possible. So very, very simple but actually quite high maintenance. So the show's just started, the girls have gone out, bit of a mad scrum back here with photographers everywhere, can't really move, you probably hear the music, it's literally just begun. Anyway, we love the hair and makeup look, it's such an easy thing that you can do at home. Unlike so many of the trends, this really is one for you guys to try. So please let us know your comments in the box below. So the outfits today are all about showing off Daisy's beautiful figure. Here we have the best tips and tricks to ensure you'll be having a svelte and stylish 2013. For step three um, of the makeup, we're going to do your cheeks and we're going to use two iconic Bobbi Brown products. <gasps> what are they? I've got some jeans. They are famous for their jeans, you know that. I do. 